question is, do I get a sway bar or don't I get a sway bar? Well, when you see those signs of the caution, high winds, you're on the highway, you see those big trucks, and then you're like, I don't know, should I get a sway bar or shouldn't I get a sway bar? It shouldn't be that hard, honestly. They are so easy to add and take off when you need them. I totally would say get a sway bar. So here I'm going to go over our setup. Um, I already had a sway bar from a previous travel trailer, so I have a combination of items here. But I will show you a whole kit that you can get that is really good and very reasonably priced. So basically the sway bar is just a single bar by itself and you're going to add a plate to your existing hitch. Um, for us, we had to make sure it was on the right because of the plugs that we plug in on the left of the trailer. It was pretty easy to add, you know, nothing but a wrench and um, making sure that uh, you get it as tight as possible. But it's been very sturdy and I was really pleased with the way it hooks on to the hitch um, so that there's no movability with it at all. So this is just the basic sway bar. This is, of course, an older one that we had and that I'm adding uh, to our tab trailer into the Jeep. Um, I just ordered this separate uh, ball to go on the trailer. And this one I just got four screws, uh, four bracket. The kit I'm going to show you has six, which is probably even better and more sturdier, of course. Um, and you just simply are measuring 24 inches from your trailer hitch ball back to the center of the ball that you're going to attach to the frame. Take your time drilling the holes with smaller drill bits and slowly getting larger. Um, you definitely don't want the hole to be too big, so keep checking your screws for the tightness. And then always use a level, of course. The sway control bar itself is so simple to put on. You can easily take on, take off whenever you want. Um, these are the uh, clips that come with it, the bar that you use to tighten it. You never over tighten it. You go just to when it's, um, you know, got a little bit of resistance. And then that's it. It's easy to, like I said, take on, take off. Um, it's not recommended to back up with them. So you might want to take it off before you do that. Here's an overview again. The plate with the ball, 24 inches to the center of your hitch ball. And then there's the separate sway ball on the side bracket there. So I'm going to go over here uh, all the different items that we have here. That's our hitch. But again, you probably already have a hitch. But this is the bar you want to get. Um, they're not super cheap, but they're definitely worth it and very secure. This was the separate uh, bracket we had to buy and the separate small ball hitch. Um, but here's the one with the set. It's a th by Reese, which is a really, really well-known uh, hitch setup, and it's very reasonably priced. There's a link below for you on this one. So again, when you're thinking about, do I get a sway bar, I definitely say get one. If you don't use it, you don't use it, but if you do need it, it's there. You never know when you just pull over on the highway and say, you know what, I'm going to add it. Um, take it off, put it on. So simple. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again so much. Got so much more coming up in the coming weeks and months with more videos. Please subscribe and watch for those notifications. Thank you.